Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to resolve the Windows Update Error Code 0x8007437. There were some problems installing updates, but we'll try again later. If you keep seeing this and want to search the web or contact support for information, this may help, followed by error code 0x8007437. So this will hopefully be a pretty straightforward process on how to resolve this error. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump straight into it. So first thing I recommend doing would be to open up the search menu. And you want to type in Troubleshoot. Best match, you'll come back with Troubleshoot Settings. Go ahead and open that up. On the right side, you want to select Other Troubleshooters. And then underneath Most Frequent, select the Windows Update Troubleshooter. And then the Run button that corresponds to it. Okay, so you can see hopefully it will detect and resolve problems that it may find. Something else I recommend trying here as well would be to open up the search menu and type in CMD. Best match, you'll come back with command prompt. Go ahead and right click on it and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And now I will have a couple commands in the description of my video guys. Copy the first one. It's an SFC scan. And then go up the top bar of the command prompt window here. Right click on it, select edit, and then paste it in. Hit enter to begin the system scan. This will take some time to run, so please be patient. Okay, so you can see it did find corrupt files and successfully repaired them. Once you have this message or once it's done scanning, go ahead and copy the second command I'm going to have in the description of my video. And then go up to the top bar of the command prompt window again, right click on it, select edit, and then paste in the second command. And then you want to hit enter. And then give it a moment to run here.
Okay, so once that's done, go ahead and close out of here and then restart your computer. Okay, so at this point, if you go ahead and proceed to check for updates, hopefully your issue should have been resolved and you should be good to go. So as always, thank you for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.